Hi everyone, it's Emma from Emma K Plans and today is time to do the August kit lineup. I have filmed this twice already and it has changed both times. So I decided I'm just going to film it one more time. If it changes again, I'm not filming it again because this is probably going to get uploaded next week and this is my last chance to film it. So if it does change, you'll see on Instagram, but otherwise... I'm going to try and stick with it. <laughs> so, I'm going to show the last kit of July because that has also changed um, since I filmed my July lineup. I've had a bit of a, like, reshuffle in my head and I'm just kind of wanting to use some other kits. And <laughs> essentially, I had a couple of kits in here that were in here because I felt the need to use them, not because I wanted to use them. And then I decided, no, you have enough kits that you can use the kits that you want to use. Don't just use something because you feel like you have to. So that's kind of my change of heart that I've had. Um, and that's kind of been why I've changed my mind three different... This is the third time I've changed my mind because I'm like, no, I want to use this kit more. No, I want to use this kit more. No, like, just so annoying. So... Also winter, this is the last month of winter and winter is the time when I am able to use the most like anytime kits or kits that don't necessarily need to be used, like don't have a theme or a time in mind, I just need to use them and I want to use them. So this is the last month of that <clears throat> and then we wind up to spring. Halloween, Christmas, summer, so I'm really like I don't have any room in the next six months beyond this. So that's the intro. <laughs> now let's get into it. So this is the last week of um, July and I have, this was originally going to be used in August but I've just moved it up to the last week of July. Apologies, I had to cut out a coughing fit. Um, so this was originally going to be the last week of July and I have now moved it to be the, sorry, it was going to be in August and I've now moved it to be in July. So it is the movie night mystery. I'm pretty sure this was Feb this year from Glam Planner. As soon as I saw it, I knew I needed to use it and I knew for me it was a winter kit. It just screams like cozy winter vibes, um, perfect colors to break up the monotony of like winter art. So can't wait to use this. It is Celise Studio exclusive art, which of course is my favorite. Um, anytime she does one of Al's mysteries like that, oops, that it's gonna be a fave. There's just no, no shrieking, shrieking, shirking out of that. So um, I really love this blonde girl, even though I've been leaning towards using more of the dark haired girls because I have dark hair now, but I do just really love, I also love her, so we'll see. Um, and then I am using a foil bundle, which I got the inspiration from Rosie of Rosie Plans. Um, and it is the Caress Press Movie Night bundle, which I just thought was perfect, especially in this pink color. Um, it's just literally like was made for this. So I'm really excited to use that. And then I pulled in the, what are they called? Wish underlays from Planner Hannah. I don't know. I just thought something about this art just, I don't honestly know. I was just drawn to these um, art, um, these underlays I think kind of just like as a confetti like I'm not treating them as like a themed underlay more so just like a confetti um although the light pink and the rose don't match super well they're different tones of pink I'm thinking because there's like different tones of pink like the sheets and the pillows are more of the peachy toned color and then like the popcorn and the shoes and the blanket are more of the true more cool toned pink. I'm thinking it's okay. Um, but then there's also, so the foil that came with the kit was in rose gold and Glam Planner's rose gold is like a true rose gold. And I love these underlays. So I'm like, do I just go nuts and do like three different like pink metals? I don't know. I think it's too much. 
Um, I don't really think this one goes, so I think I might just save this for another time. Um, and I'll use these two instead. And then, because it was a mystery, it came with a label sampler and the extra double box. So, um, that is, again, the last week of July, which is, I think, like the 25th to the 31st, maybe. Um, so, I'm actually keeping this aside because I'm going to lay down this space, like, right after this video. Then we actually come into August, so I'm going to just pull those out of the... Um, place where I store them. <clears throat> so, I've got four weeks in August. The first is the first to the seventh, and I love that the first is a Monday. Like, that is just so satisfying. So, I am using this... Oops. I've got stuff going everywhere here. Um, it's called Winter Tail Kit, and I remember I was going through my winter lineup um, like all those months ago now, and I realized I did not have enough winter kits for like how much weeks I had, um, and so I was just going around shopping at different shops, like figuring out if there's any art that I'd missed or any kits that I wanted to like slide in, and this was one of them. The art, not so much my favourite. Um, this is, I bought this one purely because of the colours and because of the um, underlays and um, foil I'd be able to pull in. So um, these are the full boxes. Again, I can kind of take or leave them, but it's these colours that I loved. Kind of non traditional for winter. Like, I don't normally see teal in a winter kit with this, like, cooler toned purple um, and then of course because it's SPC there has to be a neutral colour kind of goes without saying <laughs> um, I do like that it's grey though like that kind of matches the tone so um, yeah love the colours of this kit I do have the kit freebie which I'll definitely be pulling in I've got the 15mm back when that was still a thing and then I have the most beautiful foil to pull in. Well, I think so anyway. Um, Nera is literally like running between my legs right now. And I'm sure she'll try and make a jump up to um, interrupt the filming very soon. Because she loves to do that. Oh, she's actually gone the back way and she's behind the camera now. Um, so, I have this foil bundle from Caress Press to start with. It's called Hexagon and it is in this teal blue colour. Um, which is like the theme of the um, foil that I'm bringing in. So this will be like the base kind of foil and then I've got some other stuff to pull in because I'm not super in love with this format but it was the foil colour that drew me in. And then this is like the foil colour that I really, really wanted to use. This is like this teal blue colour from um, SPC. But it is the whimsical bow format, which I honestly just fucking hate. I think it's just so ugly. Um, so I'm mainly going to be pulling in, like, these sheets. So the, like, food icons, the circle icons, which are my favourite, the non-circle icons, and then the scripts. And then I will be sort of bringing in a little bit of this stuff because I love the colour so much. But, um, like, I just... I don't want, like, bows all over my full boxes. I wish this was, like... I can deal with it on the bottom washi. I can cope. I can deal with it on the headers. But I wish it was, like, confetti on the full boxes. I think the bows are just way too much. But, anyway. And then I am finishing it off with Big Flakes um, underlays from Planner Hannah. And I think... I always feel like I say this wrong. I think this is mid-blue. Which doesn't quite have the teal tone of the rest of the foil but when you put it next to it the teal tone like reflects off the blue and kind of makes it look teal if that makes any sense so I'm going with that this is definitely one of my favorite foil pairings um, of the season I'm really really keen to see how it lays down or all comes together I guess I'll just put these back in as I go it makes it a lot easier for me after I film, 
uh, yeah, I was going to say, what did that say? Uh, after I film, it makes it easier if they're all back in the packaging. Then I've got um, a kit that's a bit out of left field. I am starting spring a little bit early because I have so many spring kits this year. Um, so August is like winter, spring, winter, spring, just to kind of mix it up. I know I probably should do like winter, winter, spring, spring to kind of end the season, but to me, August is a winter month and it's and that's what I want to treat it as. I'm just trying to fill in some holes with spring, so that's why I'm kind of switching it up. I don't know. It makes sense in my head. I don't know if it does to anyone else. Um, so the 8th to the 14th, I am using this uh, April 2021 mystery kit. I've had this one for a while now, like a year and a half. Um, and I'm just ready to use it. So this one, the art isn't again, not my favorite. It's more so about the colors. So this is the full boxes. And then you get this like rainbow theme, which I just am dying over. Like it's perfect spring colors. I love this orange that really like does it for me. Um, yeah, like I really just love, 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 love the colors of this. I love the patterns with the like loose florals in there. And it's just, yeah, I've been saving this one for a while. So um, blue bottom washi, which is going to tie into the foil color that you'll see. I feel like um, Domi when I say this is a bit unhinged, but I feel like it is. I'm going a bit off the rails, but... I don't know. I'm excited about it. So I am using a mixed metal of Lavender Hollow because I feel like this kit calls for Lavender Hollow and I also have um, some leftovers in the Park Hopper format which I think is perfect because um, it's like got Disney elements. So I'm pulling in leftovers of Lavender Hollow and then you'll see the other colour that I'm using. So I have this kind of full boxes page. I've got the star format of this one, so I'll probably just be using the bows, the like solid headers, some leftover label sampler. I've got circle icons, which are my favorite, and then I've got some headers and deco of Park Hopper. And then I am also <laughs> pulling in sparkly blue because I really want to fully make this like the rainbow. So you've got the colors of the kit and then the bottom washi is blue and the extra color is blue. So I feel like blue is meant to be in there. So I have, I put in some bits of like a really old style wiggle. Um, so I've got bottom washi scripts icons as you can see like all my icons are going to be blue sparkle and then all my like overlays are going to be lavender hollow i have these old samplers which i don't know if i'm going to use and then confetti headers and then i am pulling in this blue um floral underlay which i just think is going to pull it all together the blue is blue sparkle and this is not blue sparkle but i think they're a pretty close match um, and I think this, like, all of this together is unhinged enough that I don't really care that it doesn't match perfectly. I really think this is going to turn out bomb, um, and I'm really excited about it. It's a kit that I actually had in my lineup multiple times last year and kept removing because I wasn't excited about it. And I think this foil is, like, just going to really... I don't know. I really hope it's going to pop and it's made me excited to use the kit, which is great because otherwise it would just sit in my collection and I would never use it. So I'm really, that's what I love about foil. I love pairing things together and coming up with something that just makes me so excited. So next is the 15th to the 21st and this is my final winter kit for the season, for the year. It is this kit from Planet Fancy. She doesn't put the names on the kits, so I'm not 100% sure. I feel like maybe it was called Winter Wonderland. I don't know. I really liked this art, and Planet Fancy's version was um, my favorite. I also like that it is kind of monochromatic pink-purple. I think that's a really fun and different 
take. I feel like everyone else probably had some form of like beige, grey, boring as hell neutral that I don't want. Whereas um, I love that this is just monochromatic. Um, yeah, and I just, I don't know. I love monochromatic kits and spreads. I think they just turn out really like eye-catching. And I just am really excited to pull this together. I have some extras, um, double box, fashion girl, more boxes, more fashion girls, and then glitter headers. And then I'm using a, I guess it's technically a combination, although I'm kind of calling it the same colour. It's just from different shops, so it looks a bit different. It is like a... My colour's light pink, so in this format it is like a chunky, sparkly light pink. Um, so it is like a really old star format. But this was like my favourite format. I really loved this one. Um, as in the, the star, not the actual bundle format. I don't love that. Bring back circle icons. Honestly, they make or break my spread. I love them so much. And then I'm also pulling in some light pink. So again, they are different. This is more of like a purple toned pink and this is more of like a peach toned pink, but I don't care. It's light pink. They're going together. So I've got some bottom washi, an overlay sheet, and then some quotes. And then I'm using my tried and true winter underlay which is Jack Frost in light pink. I really feel like I saved my best two winter kits to last or at least my two winter kits that I'm most excited about using to last. Like I really, I love that they're also fun foils like one being the teal and then this one being pink. Like that's just really <laughs> me to a T so love that. Oh this is not very straight, come on. So again, that was the week of 15 to 21 August. And then um, the last week, which is the one actually I've just most recently changed, is the 22nd to the 28th. <clears throat> and I am using this May 2022 mystery kit. I really liked this one. Um, so I'm not subscribed anymore. But I really liked this one and picked it up. Um, to me, it's pretty. It's an anytime kit because we don't really have this kind of vibe here in Australia. I'm sure some people do it, but I know like lake kind of vacations or whatever, like weekends are a lot more popular in the States than they are here. Kind of like a summer thing. This really means nothing to me on a personal level. I just like this art and I really like this artist. So I picked it up. Um, I really, really, truly detest the colours. I think they are just so boring and neutral when I feel like you could have gone so fun. Like this yellow colour, the green, the navy, like it really could have come together. And instead we get this. <laughs> Which I just, I don't understand. Like, okay, this terracotta comes from the ground. That's, that's fine. The, the rug. Where else is it? Maybe here? Where does this two beige colours come from? Like, why do we need two beige colours? The navy I'm fine with, but I just... It really lets me down, man. Like, really lets me down. But again, I love the art and I love this artist. So I'm prepared to put up with it. Um... Oh, we're just gonna roll with it. Um, also, if you've watched the most recent mystery reveal, the new, what is it, August one, I'm pretty sure it's like the same patterns as this. They're just in different colors and they're not my favorite. So <laughs> that's fun. Uh, bottom washi, boring as hell, but I will figure out something fun to do with that. So again, love the art, hate the colors, gonna make it work. Um, to me, this is 100% a silver kit, so of course that means I'm not using silver, I'm instead using gold. Now, I have a reason for that. That is because I am using this Dragonfly um, foil bundle from Caress Press, which I have in silver. I could have used in silver, but so this, this is the format. 
I have this underlay sheet from a Happy um, Sticker Designs bundle that I only am using one of the sheets for in that bundle. Sorry, with that kit. So I have this sheet spare and I mean, like, is there a better underlay sheet <laughs> to go with this than the dragonflies? So rather than going and trying to find and purchasing something similar in silver, I thought I'm just going to make it work in gold. Um, I think the gold goes with the full boxes, but it doesn't go with the colours in the kit. But I'm going to make it work. Sometimes the things that we don't expect turn out to be the best. So hopefully that is the case. So that is my last kit in August and then I will be transitioning into spring and September but that will be in next um, month's video so let's just do a quick little recap and then I've got to take my thumbnail picture so first to the seventh is this um what's it called winter tail kit with teal foil then we've got the April 2021 mystery with Lavender Hollow and Sparkly Blue. Then we have the 15th to the 21st Planet Fancy um, Light Pink. And then last is the May Mystery from this year and Gold Dragonflies. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I do not have to film this video again. I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.